Hello, it's Laurel Papworth here and I've put together a quick video, 9 or 10 minutes, on how to create a second or third or fourth landing page for your courses. You may want another landing page or another sales page without having to duplicate courses because you want to welcome uh, a whole group of people from a conference or from a client um, into the course without giving them the main sales page you want to direct them somewhere else or perhaps you have a special offer just for Valentine's Day that's the one I'm going to show you um, the third reason is for split a B testing which page works the best because you don't have an enroll button on your normal sales pages I'm going to show you how to add the enroll button so that you can have two or three or four sales pages for each of your courses without having to duplicate the course each time stay tuned it's coming right up I need to go into the admin of the course I go into coupons and I can create a all course coupon but in this case I'm creating a landing page for this course. And now when I go to the preview of this one, I want to open the preview, pricing and enrollment, 20% off. Take this one and put this into the incognito window because I'm already enrolled. <laughs> Pricing and enrollment, that's the price, coupon discount, enrolling course. And I take that link, which is sso secure, course number, checkout, that's the price ID, Twitter course, coupon code, and I copy that and I'm going to put it in a special place because I'm going to need it in a moment. Okay, whew, that's done. We go to admin, um, site pages, new page, and that gives us this. And my new page, I need to say my offer, which is 20% off Twitter course. You know what to write. What are they going to get? How are they going to get it? Why it's a great deal? And then I'll add another new block and I'll say, learning outcomes, what they can expect. So this might be who they are, why they want to take the course, and this will be what they get if they take the course. The next box I'm going to add in is called um, the background image block. And I'm going to take that up to here, the very top of the page. And I'm going to add a background image which is going to be like the header image because at the moment if I save this and then we preview it we've got 20% off the Twitter course and learning outcomes we've got some text blocks but we don't have any image or header image so background image add background image I like to use Canva I use the custom dimensions of 1440 by 780, which is what the background images are. And then I create the, that's this image or this one. And I download these and I upload them as background images. So I'm going to go to my computer, choose the file and choose that this one as the hero. Upload the image. And I would write some text on here like, please join me on Valentine's Day. Put that there. I think we should make this white. And we should make it large. And we should center it. I know. I'm hopeless at this stuff. The creative side, technical, I'm fine. Uh, it needs to be bigger. But you get the general idea. You can put some sort of sousy spiel up there or some please join me offer, whatever. Then you've got your text blocks with your different offers down here. And in between the text blocks, what I like to do is add another background image, but maybe just 
for color. Add a background image, add the background image. I'm going to go to my computer, choose another one that I created in Canva. No text this time. It'll be thinner, but that's okay. Yeah, man. Very slow connection today. It's Sunday, so everybody's on the internet. Save, come back here, refresh. And now I've got a um, header image, offer, a background, another sort of striped image, outcomes. Amity is probably having a fit right now going, oh, um, that's not the right colours or the right flowers. She knows all about flowers and making paper flowers and things like that and she's very creative and full of colour. Um, but this is just an example. <laughs> so we've got quite a lot on here. We've got the please join me, we've got the offer, we've got learning outcomes, we've got all sorts of things. One of the things we don't have is an enroll button. And so I'm just going to quickly add that. I go to insert new block. I'm going to add a rich text block. And in the rich text block, I'm going to add an image. So what I do is I use Canva again. I can either go out to the layouts and use one of their layouts, or I can create my own image like enroll now, click to enroll for 20% off. So I'm going to use this one. So I go to admin and I upload an image, choose the file, enroll, Valentine's open. Probably should say Valentine's on it, but that's okay. Click save. I choose this, I edit it, I make sure it's on center. We're going to put the link in in a moment. I click save again, save. Remember, you'll do a better job than this. This is not fleshed out at all. You need to flesh it out. The thing is, when they click on this, nothing happens. So then we're going to go back and we're going to get that special link, copy link, the one that we got from our incognito mode with SSO in it. I go back to admin, I edit, and I type in that link. Remember SSO teachable da, 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 with the Valentine's Day code on it? And I say, Valentine's offer courses, blah, blah, blah. Save. Um, I just want to take, I oh know that's correct. Save. Refresh. And now when people click on here, click enroll now for 20% um, off. Let me just take this. Got an incognito window. Ah, that's right, you can't do that. All right, click now, enroll now. Open link in incognito window. There's no point me doing it as myself because I'm logged in. And it gives me, um, here it is, $39, $7.80 off. They have to sign up, they log in, and they're done. So it takes them directly to the checkout. And then you can use this to do A-B testing against your main page or different things like that. If you don't want to have an offer on there, you don't need to. And if, obviously, if it's a conference, you would have a conference photo or their logos, welcoming them to the course, blah, blah, blah. When they click here, they're still signing into the main course, but they're seeing their link, their coupon, their sign up, whatever it is you've agreed to around conferences or workshops. And... Um, you can make this as gorgeous as you want. Really, it's got everything that you need to go in and add more text blocks and add different kind of blocks. You can add in your featured course block. You can add in your testimonials. You can do a video block and have your video invitation. You can add um, copy and paste in widgets for your Eventbrite or your meetup, tickets for your um, MailChimp's email, sign up, whatever it is you need, this landing page will do it all. The only thing it's not, it's not attached to a course unless you attach it to a course by using the direct sign out URL. I feel like I made a mess of that. But if you liked it, if you loved it, 
If you love me, if you love Valentine's Day, if you love love, give me a heart in the comments. Um, and it wasn't my host at all. I'm just going to say that. All right. I'll see you in the next video lecture. Thanks.